Yes, yeah, your boy G Cornerman Boxing. I'm here, my man, Mr. Jordan Maldonado, Cornerman Toronto Serrano, head trainer. You know what I'm saying? Nine-time world champion, seven division. First of all, thank you for your time, sir. How you feeling, man? I'm feeling great, man. I'm super happy. I'm pumped uh, to finally, you know, uh, get just due for, you know, Amanda. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, I can't even believe this is happening. It's not even a dream, man. You know, we never dreamt of fighting in Madison Square Garden in the main event because it was never available to women and also a seven-figure payday. Wow. You know? I mean, <laughs> most people never thought that would happen. I was one. I mean, we were happy with just, you know, breaking records and, you know, getting good fights and, and making some money. But to actually say that, you know, we're making seven figures in an iconic fight, Madison Square Garden main event where no other woman has done it. You know, I'm super happy and I'm proud. And, you know, for those that know me, I'm a little controversial, but, you know, there's a method to my madness. Right. Had I not been who I am, this fight would have happened two years ago for a fraction of the money, wow. for 800,000 less. And in literally in, in Eddie Hearns' backyard in Manchester, you know what I'm saying? Wow. So, the fact that you know I'm a little crazy and I stuck to my guns and I didn't take the offers and I didn't do you know I took a lot of criticism but at the end of the day you know um, I'm happy because uh, Katie Taylor's manager thanked me he said you know what thank God I stood to my guns and the fight didn't happen because today both girls get the biggest platform in the world no other woman has ever main event in Madison Square Garden and there's no other woman you know Leila Lee a Christy Martin, no other woman has made seven figures. Wow. And so, you know, this is a great thing. I'm happy. I, I wholeheartedly believe that Amanda deserves it. Katie Taylor deserved it. You know, Katie's been a great champion. She's fought many fights, but never got Madison Square Garden main event right. and never got a seven, you know, a seven figure payday. And I just think that they, they both needed each other for mm -hmm. legacy. So at the end of the day, you know, of course, we're coming to win. We are going to win, but there is no loser here. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I mean, when you make history, you know, saying children, you know, Amanda's grandkids, if she ever has, are going to remember, you know, my grandmother, you know, broke the barriers. You know what I'm saying? You know, stood true to what she believed and, you know, made history, you know, and, and I'm super happy and, you know, I'm crazy, I'm a little controversial, <laughs> but I'm passionate about what I do. I love my fighters, I love the people I work with, and I'll take no shorts. Right, absolutely, man. You guys are making history. I'm happy for you, man. God bless yeah, you Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm happy I see you guys. I remember when you started, I remember right, right. you guys have grown so much. You know, you're very articulate talking, you know, things have changed. And, you know, that's what it's all about, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? You start from the bottom, you stay consistent, you believe in yourself, never let anybody deter you, and eventually look where you're at. You know, I've seen some of the amazing interviews you've done. You've wow. grown so much, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's what I want. I want I want people to grow and you know thank God God has blessed us you know we're with Jake Paul that's my partner you mm. know he's co-manager with me with Amanda and you know life is great man so to all the fans tune in I promise you there's no disappointment for anyone who knows Amanda Serrano you know some people think she's great other people think she's not that great but I promise you she's gonna leave it in the ring you know what I'm saying we're taking nothing home uh, Katie Taylor's an amazing champion she'll figure out what she has to do to go the distance to make it a great fight so you know this is a fight that there is no loser only winners the fans are gonna win because Absolutely. like I said it's happening man finally happening yeah it's Taylor amazing versus Serrano. and like you said as growth man we've seen you win title after title getting sneaker deals you know yeah, all kind of stuff yeah. now here in the big room yeah finally like I said you know when I spoke to Amanda I'm like did you ever she was like no I never thought of fighting <laughs> you know we fought you know she won the golden gloves in the Hulu theater which is a portion of Madison Square Garden we uh we fought Heather Hardy she won her seventh division there she uh she beat Ava Vorberger there but this is the big theater in Madison Square Garden. For Eddie Hearns to believe that Amanda Serrano versus Katie Taylor, you know, deserved that is amazing. For Madison Square Garden to say, yeah, that's a worthy fight, a female fight, the first one ever. All of these things are iconic, man. They're legendary. And you know what? You know, I'm still numb because I, I can't believe it. Like, it was never, I'd be lying if I ever told you that I thought 
we would do, no, I never thought it would happen. You know, I mean, it's something out of this world. You know, it's so surreal. Um, you know, I, sometimes I pinch myself like, yo, is this really happened? <laughs> right. Like today, I'm like numb. I'm like, holy crap, everywhere you turn, there's Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor. And you know what I'm saying? And, and then the uh, co-main event is a great co-main event. You know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Jesse, Jesse Vargas, Vargas, you know, Liam, Liam Smith. Smith. So yeah. I'm like... Yo, I, I love those guys, you know what I'm saying? And to be like, wait a minute, they're co-main event to my fighter, it's, it's amazing, man. It's amazing. So all in all, you know what I'm saying, we uh, we all win, you know, it's a, it's a great thing. Um, I'm a little little heartbroken, my buddy shoot the five, Absolutely Xavier, you know what I'm saying? May he rest in peace, love that guy, he was my buddy. We, we had many conversations, obviously you guys can tell I talk a lot. And we used to sit and talk for hours, man. So may God, you know, rest his soul and, you know what I'm saying, may he rest in power. Um, let's be safe, man. Let's take care of ourselves and make sure that, you know, we stick around for our loved ones, man. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Thank you no, so I, much for I having me. I appreciate that so much, man. You shouting him out. Never just the message you're no, sharing with us, Listen, man. like I said, man, you know, you guys are, you know, you guys are like my dudes, man. I, you, know, <laughs> you guys are men, but I literally seen you guys grow in Absolutely, the business man. and what you're doing. You know, I, I've always kept an eye and an ear out for you guys, and I'm super proud of what you guys are doing, you know, your growth, you know what I'm saying? Because in, in life, you know, growth it doesn't just only become from, from spiders, it comes from people in general. And you guys are doing really, really good, man. I'm, and I'm proud of you. And and I'm looking forward to maybe one day getting interviewed by your little man. Oh, man. When he so he up, loves you guys, guys, man. He remembers know, you guys man. to yeah, this day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so hopefully, you know, he'll take up after his father. You pass on the legacy. Absolutely. And one That's day when about. I have a different fighter, he'll be interviewing me and one of my other fighters. Right. Now, Coach, before we let you go, talk to me a little bit about hard work. Because I see that's one of your main things that you apply. And in in, in, like you said, in the madness. And, and you know what I mean? You know. Uh, this is something that, you know, you know, Amanda's always believed in, you know what I'm saying? Greatness requires sacrifice. Mm -hmm. If you're doing something and you're making no sacrifices, I promise you, not much is going to happen. You know what I'm saying? The most important thing you have to do is make sure that you're making sacrifices. Amanda's 33 years old, never had a boyfriend, never had a cell phone. You know what I'm saying? She does know how to use a phone, obviously. Right, right. But she doesn't want to be distracted. She doesn't want to start, you know, messing around with phone when she goes to the gym, when she's training, when she's eating, when she's sleeping. No one's interrupting her. She's focused on what she does. To be successful, you have to do that. It's a funny thing that even even uh, uh, Katie brought it up but Katie's made a lot a lot of sacrifices if you look Katie Taylor you know doesn't have a significant other I mean not that wow. anyone knows her whole life as a little girl was boxing they don't they don't do anything this is all they do so the common denominator here is that you have two girls that sacrifice everything to be great at their sport and now they're being rewarded by getting something that no other woman has had and that only goes to show sacrifice is the only thing that's going to get you you can do stuff and be good but if you want to be great you have to almost give tons of things up to make sure that that happens and that's what both of these girls do they sacrifice social life personal life everything to become great and you know what like i said i couldn't be more happier you know i don't think it can happen to any two better women you know what i'm saying there's Absolutely. no there's no outside life if you put them together and they're both so spoken if you look at you know katie mm -hmm. taylor that press conference there was no disrespect in there Not you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you know when that bell rings they're both going to be trying to knock each other's head obviously there's no you no mistake about that but leading up to the fight man you know what I'm saying their accomplishments is what has them here you Absolutely. know what I'm saying we don't have to talk bad I'm gonna knock you out I'm gonna kill your mother I'm gonna eat your children we're not doing all of that we you know what, what they're about already yeah <laughs> you know Amanda Serrano everybody knows she's the real deal she's coming in whether you think she's skilled or not whatever it is she has she's gonna put it on the table 100% and the same thing with Katie Taylor some people oh yeah Katie's past her prime whatever yeah listen she's still doing what she has to do you know what i'm saying i believe that this fight is going to elevate them more a little bit you know their last hurrah if anything or whatever because i'm telling you this is iconic this is like you know it's history it's never been done and it's happening to them 
Absolutely. They have to live up. So sacrifice to be great. Absolutely, coach. You got any final shout outs you want to give before we let you go? Sponsors, to, anything Listen, out there? To, to just uh, so many sponsors, I don't want to forget anybody, so I'm not going to mention anybody. <laughs> right, right. Um, I just want to say, listen, man, I'm super proud and happy that, you know, we're part of uh, Nakisa, Darian, and, you know, Jake Paul, you know, these guys took to us, they made promises, and they've done nothing more than delivered each and every single one of them. You know, stay true to yourself, and remember, man, there's always someone out there for you, man. Absolutely. We've been blessed, and uh, we get to share it with all our fans. Absolutely. Where, where can we follow you at, Coach, for those that don't know? Well, I don't really have social media. Okay. I'm too old, you know. <laughs> right. You know, that's I, a I young understand. man. But, but not old. You know, <laughs> uh, uh, IG and Twitter, it's Serrano Sisters. Okay. And in uh, Facebook, is Cindy. And as in Nancy, right. Amanda Serrano. So Cindy and Amanda Serrano. All right. Thank That's you so much for your time. Thank God you so bless much. you. God Wish you the best on Fight Night and the rest of your career and life as well. Thank God you, bless brother. you, Coach Jordan. Thank you.